So we can do a little bit of a drifting tutorial here. Uh, we are on a skid pad at the tire rack test track in the VRZ. We're in second gear. We'll turn AC off just for the added power because we'll need it. So the first thing you want to do when you start drifting is get your speed up. The closer you are to that ragged edge, to that limit of tire breakaway, the easier it is to initiate a slide. I like to initiate by lifting off just a tad and then adding some throttle. Sometimes you have to add quite a bit of throttle to get it going. This car does a really good job of auto steering and catching that slide. And between that, I'm just maintaining that angle with my right foot. My steering is barely changing. You want to keep the front end turning in though at all times. The minute the front end loses a little bit of that resistance is when you snap back. And to bring things back straight, all you do is just reduce your throttle and start turning in and you'll feel that grip coming back towards center. There you go. So yeah, that's fun. You can even do a little clutch kick. Yeah, I'm really shocked at how high you have to keep the revs in this car. Yeah, you do. I mean, oh, that's, like... that's full lock. And when you do spin, it's two feet in and you're done. Yes.